Hey everyone, in today's world, it is so easy to vibe code and start building something from scratch, whether it be something for your personal life, something for your business, like an internal tool. But a lot of these tools that allow you to vibe code, right? Let's say something like Lovable or Bolt or even something like Cursor that's a little bit more technical, um, it lacks that design um, touch to it, right? Sometimes it, it generates some nice designs but they look pretty, you know, AI generated, so to say. And don't get me wrong, like a lot of these tools like Lovable or Bolt, they allow you to basically, you know, import your Figma design, Figma design into their platform. But, you know, based on my experience, I get a lot of like broken UI. Um, it doesn't really look exactly like it is supposed to look like in, in your Figma design. And also very important is that you need to apply like this auto layout system inside of Figma in order for it to actually be responsive, right? Because responsiveness is like the next big issue, right? So you can try to import something from Figma, but when you try to minimize the screen, you're gonna start seeing that everything breaks because you have to properly add that auto layout. And that's something that you need to kind of be like an expert in, in Figma. So in today's video, what I wanna do is I wanna show you how you can bring in your custom design style or maybe something from another Figma project that you really like and and bring that into your project where you wanna kind of build out. In this case, we're gonna be using Cursor because I do believe that Cursor is kind of like the best way to vibe code something because you can, you know, you, you, you have total control of your code and the AI agents inside of Cursor are just great, right? So yeah, today I'm just gonna show you how to bring designs from Figma into Cursor and kind of build out your project like that. And before we get into it, I'd love to invite you guys to my Discord community where we do live calls every single weekday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern time. And we're basically like a lot of people, around 600 people now from different parts of the world. And you know, we're designers, we're builders, we're side hustlers, we have our own startups. We have a bunch of different types of backgrounds and we all get together every single day, 2.30 p.m. Eastern time to kind of talk about our struggles, our successes, different new tools coming out, different types of processes on how to you know, improve different things uh, when it comes to business or, you know, or building something, right? So yeah, feel free to join that. Link is down in the description below. But yeah, just to show you a quick example of what we're gonna be doing today, you know, you can basically get something like this, right? This is like some type of component library that I found in the uh, Figma community, right? You have like different tabs, different sheets, different tables, different um, resizable elements, radio groups. Then basically we use this plugin called Design Tokens from Lucas Oppermann. Um, basically very, very simple to use. It's like just two clicks. And once you get that, you're gonna get like a JSON file that's gonna be downloaded to your machine. And then what you wanna do is just go to Claude and kind of convert that into like a Shad CN file structure. And a good example of how that looks like is, you know, you can go to this website called TweakCN and click over here on the right side to uncode. And basically it looks like this, right? You wanna get something that looks like this. It starts off with this root, right? And then once you're done with that, you can go into Magic Path, click on import, and you're just gonna paste that code in here and then it's gonna look like this automatically. And yeah, basically it looks like that. And then you can just create different types of components, different screens and all that stuff inside of Magic Path. And then going up here, what you can do is just open in cursor. You're gonna just wanna do this, copy this, and then you're gonna want to open your terminal. Let's just paste this inside of your terminal. That's gonna load up. We're going to select the location. We're gonna rename this to call it blue, then it's gonna download, it's gonna install the dependencies using yarn. And then it basically opens directly inside of cursor, right? We have it like this. We have our different files and folders. And then what we can do is we can just, for example, open the terminal and click on or type yarn dev, click on enter. And then we can just command click this and you're gonna see, voila, we get our design opened locally inside of our machine. So this is kind of like everything in a nutshell. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper into how we properly do this, but this is kind of how the process works like. Now, you know, Figma has a massive community. A lot of people are, you know, uploading their work there. We can, for example, go here to browse resources and we can look for stuff like 
mobile app templates, right? Go over here and we see a bunch of these different things created by different people. We have even things from Apple. And once you like something, you find something that you like, like for example, these colors look pretty cool. You can open this in Figma and then you're gonna get this design system over here, right? We have different colors, different fonts, um, different types of images and so on and so forth. Now, what we can do here is we can, um, and again, you don't have to find something from the community. You can build it out yourself inside of Figma. But what we wanna do here is we wanna to go to the plugin. So on the top, you're gonna to see uh, a tab called plugins. You can't really see it from here, but it's gonna be on the very top. And then we're, we're gonna just look for design token, right? Design tokens. We're gonna to click on run and just make sure that whenever you're looking for a project in Figma that you wanna kind of use for your cursor project, you want to make sure that it has different color styles and different text styles saved, right? Because that, those are like the main things that are gonna be brought into your projects, right? So we're gonna click on run over here and we're gonna click on export design token file and click on export. And as you can see, we are going to basically save this to our downloads. Now, what you can do is you can go into ChatGPT and you can paste in this text, like say, can you convert this into a Shad CN theme? You don't have to use ChatGPT. You can also use Claude if you wanted to. Both work just fine. And then what you wanna do is you wanna attach this file that we got from the Design Tokens plugin in Framer. And we're just gonna send this like this. And by the way, a great place to also come up with different uh, you know, style guides is here in TweakCN. If you don't want to take that Figma route, you can just like discover all of these different themes from here and you can basically easily, you know, import these into cursor using the technique that we're going to go through today. Now, basically ChatGPT is providing us with different, you know, it's kind of hallucinating. I guess we gave it like a very vague prompt, but it's okay. We wanted to basically style the code structure to look like this. So I'm going to click on shift enter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into tweak CN, copy this, because we want it to look just like this and paste this and click on enter. So ChatGPT provided us with this beautiful uh, file of CSS code. We're gonna copy this and we're gonna head over to Magic Path. And in Magic Path, we created this nice design before. Now we're gonna create our new design. Click on design system and we're gonna click on import. And in import, we're going to basically paste that CSS file that ChatGPT gave us, click on apply, and you can see, boom, we get exactly the same type of, you know, colors, fonts, basically the entire style that we had in our Figma file. So, like, and, and then basically once you're done, you can click on save and you can rename this to something like, let's call it Figma, click on save design system. And now what you want to do is you want to go you can double click here and you can start designing what you want to design. Let's say that you want to design some type of internal tool for your company. And what we want to do is we just want to switch this to the Figma design system. And let's say like build me a calculator. We get this cute little restaurant calculator, right? With the exact same design style that we had inside of Figma. And not only can you design, you know, little things like this, you can also create more you know sophisticated types of applications and boom we can even create like this employee tip and shift management app you know you can shift uh filter with different roles you can search for specific employees like like sarah for example or pick a specific date range right so and it's all with this kind of design uh, style that we brought in from figma so now what if we can bring this into cursor right that's the next step so like i showed you before we can just go here into our code, click, in, click on open in cursor, copy full command, open the terminal, right? We're gonna paste that in here. And we just want to enter again. We wanna name this Figma tutorial, click on enter. It's gonna download, it's gonna install the dependencies using yarn. And then we're just gonna click on enter when it says cursor. And now it's gonna open cursor. And this is our Figma tutorial project right here. So now what we can do is go down here, click on yarn dev. So we can basically run this on our local machine. Let's just make sure that this is smaller somehow. 
and now it basically works over here. And again, you can use this you know, cursor AI agent to basically add new things, add new pages, add new features. We can say like under the employees section, add a add an AI chatbot that knows everything about your business. And obviously this is a very, you know, general prompt, but you could eventually add some type of AI chatbot uh, that's connected to your OpenAI API key and it can basically know everything about your restaurant and you can have it there and it knows everything about the shifts of your different employees and so on and so forth. All right, so it basically created that chatbot component. Now it's gonna integrate it into our interface. So now I need to add the chatbot component to the uh, JSX return statement. Let me find the right place. And as you can see, it just popped up over here. Um, so basically this is like the power of cursor, right? You can just generate this code, click on accept. And we can see over here, we get our little pop-up with our AI assistant restaurant tips ask about employees tips or shifts, right? So as easy as that, it was just with one prompt, um, basically just with this uh, a cursor AI agent, you can build something like this in tandem with the nice design style that you brought in from Figma. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video today. It was quite fun. You know, you can basically bring in anything from Figma, readjust the design using Magic Path, bring that into cursor and use that to kind of build off on your design and build something great for your for yourself or for your business. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.